Welcome to Interscalar, the channel that invites you to study the world with fresh eyes. Please consider that this video is merely an illustration. It does not claim to be complete. Here we refer to the linked publications. Thank you. In this video I invite you to learn why Euler's number is so important in the universe. You will learn that the difference between integer numbers, rational, irrational, algebraic and transcendental numbers is not only a mathematical task, but also an essential aspect of stability in real systems. Let us imagine that we have to design the solar system. If we would install the orbit of Saturn with a period of 30 years and that of Jupiter 12 years exactly, then Jupiter and Saturn would rock each other every 60 years because Saturn would complete two cycles and in the same time Jupiter would complete five cycles. This periodic excitation could ultimately lead to a resonance disaster and destabilize the whole solar system. Fortunately, Jupiter's orbital period is not 12 years, but 11.86177 years, and Saturn's orbital period is not 30 years, but 29.4566 years. Therefore, complex dynamic systems like the solar system avoid frequency ratios of whole numbers. Ratios of whole numbers mathematicians call rational numbers. As we already clarified, those ratios provoke destabilizing resonance interaction and therefore we must avoid them. Very different are irrational numbers. They are not ratios of whole numbers and consequently they should not cause destabilizing resonance. For example, the square root of 2 is irrational. However, irrational numbers like the square root of 2 or other roots do not compellingly prevent resonance because they transform into whole numbers by multiplication. The square root of 2 multiplied by itself equals 2. Consequently, already if two frequency ratios coincide with square roots, they can provoke destabilizing resonance. Fortunately, there is a type of irrational numbers called transcendental, which are not roots. They do not transform into rational or whole numbers by multiplication and, consequently, they definitely do not provide resonance interaction. Probably the best known transcendental number is pi, but there are infinitely many transcendental numbers. Among them only Euler's number E fulfills another very important criterion. Euler's number is the basis of the natural exponential function the only function that is the derivative of itself. The derivative is the rate of change. Why is this so important? Actually, frequencies of real processes are not constant. Therefore, to reach lasting stability, a real system must avoid resonance not only regarding the frequencies, but also regarding their rates of change. Only Euler's number can guarantee this. In this way, Euler's number provides a solution for lasting stability in real systems of any degree of complexity. In real systems, only the cycles whose ratios correspond to Euler's number can survive. 
Probably Euler's number is the main stabilizer in the universe. In our first video we have shown how Euler's number stabilizes the solar system. Euler's number and its roots are attractors of transcendental numbers that prevent destabilizing resonance. They form islands of stability where planets can form and move in stable orbits. Therefore, planets and large planetoids have orbital periods separated by Euler's number and its roots. If you still have patience, I would like to add something about Euler's number. Voila! The sequence of decimals is infinite and it is difficult to learn by heart. Amazingly, Leonard Euler found out that this jungle of numbers hides a continued fraction that is easy to memorize. For writing it down, you simply have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. This continued fraction houses another secret. It incorporates the perfect musical intervals, octave, fifth, fourth, the major third and the minor third, for example. In a poetic way, we can tell that Euler's number is of infinite musical harmony. In this vision, the transcendence and stabilizing function of Euler's number gains a deeper sense. More information and many examples you can find in my book Global Scaling – The Fundamentals of Interscalar Cosmology You can free download. The link you find below this video. Thanks for watching.